Let's just shuffle. Let's just shuffle. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, 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 skip. That used to be me. Now, I'm on the mission to create the perfect shuffle, where every song in the library is less than 50% skippable. What's up? I'm Trent Windsor. We're here in search of the perfect shuffle. It's time for another segment of Clearing Out the Archives, where I shuffle my music and whichever album pops up, that is the album I review song by song. Last time we shuffled our music and the album that popped up was So Help Me God by 2 Chains. 2 Chains, formerly known as Titty Boy, <laughs> has come a long way since selling drugs to his mom. He's successful now. He has a family. He has his joints pre-rolled for him. Has that taken the edge off for his 12th album? Let's find out as I review it song by song. There are 15 songs in this album, so we're gonna do this tier list style. We're gonna go S, A, B, C, D. Starting out in the S tier, we've got the song Feel Away, which features Kanye West and Brent Fayez. This song is very smooth. Anything that Brent is on is gonna be pretty smooth. It's got these really deep synths, which really suit his style. Honestly, the features in this track are on point. 2 Chainz does a pretty good job of switching his flow ups through this track, and at one point Kanye and 2 Chainz trade bars, which is something you always love to see. We also have the track Ziploc, which features Kevin Gates. 2 Chainz and Kevin Gates are two guys who are very good at rapping about selling drugs. Um, have kind of made their careers on it. So this feels like a classic Kevin Gates track, and I really love Kevin Gates' voice. It's just so like deep and buttery, smooth. I just love the way it sounds. And he plays well off of 2 Chains. Both of these songs in the S tier, I would say, are 30% skippable. In the A tier, we have the song Save Me, featuring Young Boy Never Broke Again. It's kind of got a Louisiana bounce feel to it. What really makes this song is the flow. Both of these rappers really lean into the beat and make it just feel pretty natural. Next is Can't Go For That, which features Ty Dolla Sign and Lil Duval. Honestly, half the appeal of this song is the amazing Hall & Oates sample. I love Ty Dolla Sign. He's definitely one of my favorite R&B artists ever. He's got such a smooth and unique delivery, and 2 Chains feels pretty effortless on this track as well. Last in the A tier, we've got the song Free Lighter, which features Lil Uzi Vert and Chief Keef. This is a group of three guys that I feel like could have done even more with a song. They could have gone even harder, but you know, it is 2 Chains, Lil Uzi, and Chief Keef, so they weren't going to miss, you know? It wasn't going to be boring. I mean, it could have been, I guess. All of these songs in the A tier, I'd say, are 35% skippable. In the B tier, we've got the song Moneymaker, which features Lil Wayne. It's got a marching band theme to it. Honestly, the bars in this track are pretty average, but the beat really makes it. I don't know if you could tell, but I played the bass trombone in my high school marching band. So, you know, I get it. Next is Quarantine Thick featuring Lotto. Honestly, the concept of this song is almost better than the song itself. Just the idea that the pounds that you put on during quarantine make you more attractive, <laughs> so you shouldn't really worry about what the haters are going to say about the weight you've gained. Pretty average bars, pretty average beat, but I like the idea of it. Last in the B tier, we've got the track 55 Times, which has this really lush and beautiful 80s beat with, once again, just pretty average bars. So all these tracks in the B tier, I'd have to say, are 40% skippable. In the C tier, we've got the song Tony. It's got a good beat. It sounds interesting at the beginning, but then it gets really, really repetitive. In the verses, every line starts with Tony this, Tony that. There's a song Southside Hove. It's kind of a tribute track. I've never been a huge fan of the sappier rap songs, and this kind of falls into that category for me. There's Wait For You To Die, which honestly is kind of boring. It's got a real chill tempo, and the bars are very, very middle of the road. So all of these tracks in the C tier, I'd have to say are 60% skippable. Then we move on to the D tier. Got the track Lambo Wrist, which has this Super Smash Bros choir type beat. Honestly, it's just a really regular wealth brag track, which we've heard a million of these. Lambo wrist, I mean, it's just like a mad lib at this point. Expensive thing that you put on uh, a body part that holds jewelry. Lambo wrist, Mercedes neck, uh, Louis Vuitton ankle, I don't know. There's the track Gray Area, which honestly just has this awful beat, man. I hate the beat in this track. And then the bars are pretty terrible too. I mean, he says old enough to be your daddy, young enough to do certain explicit things to your mama. It just feels like a 
drunk guy arguing with a teenager outside of a bar. There's the track Vampire, which is even sappier than Southside Hove. So definitely not my favorite. There's a lot of ad-libs in this track, a lot of ad-libs. And then there's YRB featuring Rick Ross and Schooly. Honestly, Rick Ross was never my favorite, but this song definitely doesn't really suit him that well. It's this Hyrule type beat. You feel like Link should be going hot, hot, hot over this track. Bottom line, all these tracks in the D tier, I'd have to say they're 75% skippable. Mathematically, adding everything up, this album as a whole is 51% skippable. In my mind, 2 Chains has always been hit or miss, but in the past, his hits have hit much, much harder. And even on this album, his misses aren't quite as big of misses as a miss used to be on his old albums. Does that make sense? Which just says to me that he's not really taking risks anymore. We're really trending towards the middle, which uh, is fine. All right, let's shuffle our music, see which album I'll be reviewing next. All right, we're just gonna go into our music library here, go into albums, and hit shuffle. Okay, looks like the next album I'll be reviewing is Airs by And So I Watch You From Afar. If you like what I'm doing here, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about 2 Chains. Let me know what you think about So Help Me God. I believe that all musical opinions are valid, and I'd love to hear yours. I will be leaving links in the description below for music videos for this album just uh be prepared to see a lot of booty i'm just warning you now <laughs> um i will also leave links to my playlist for best of 2021 my playlist for best of 2022 which is a playlist that i'm updating all the time as well as link to my podcast which uh i will i will update at some point if I keep bringing it up, then I'll feel guilty enough and I'll actually work on it. I'm Trent Windsor, and this is The Perfect Shuffle.